Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn how to post a purchase return in Web POS. Moving on to today's topic, we'll see an introduction to purchase return, methods of purchase return, their posting in the application, purchase return reverse, and its reports. First of all, let's take a brief understanding of purchase return. A purchase return which is also known as a debit note, it refers to the process of returning goods or product back to the supplier, for various reasons like a defective product, or wrong product. Generally, we have three methods of debit note, the first one is to do a manual purchase return, which refers to returning the item one by one without selecting the invoice from the application. Things to be considered before performing manual purchase return. Manual purchase return is performed for the items that were purchased before the installation of IMS software. Reference purchase invoice number and supplier's bill number should be entered from the previously issued purchase invoice. The quantity and rate can be entered in the invoice as per your requirement. After that, the second type is to do a full return, where all the products in the invoice will be loaded and can be returned at once. Things to be considered before performing full purchase return. Full purchase return can be performed to only invoices that are generated from IMS software. Reference purchase invoice number and supplier's bill number will be saved on the basis of the selected purchase invoice. You will not be able to edit anything while performing full purchase return. And the last type is to do a partial return, where you can select an invoice and return any item from the invoice. Things to be considered before performing partial purchase return. Partial purchase return can be performed to only invoice that are generated from the IMS software. Reference purchase invoice number and supplier's bill number will be saved on the basis of the selected purchase invoice. In partial purchase return quantity can be edited as per your requirement. Now let's look at how to do a purchase return manually in the application, simply go to the transaction, click on purchase and from that drop down select debit note which is also indicated as purchase return. As you can see on this debit note page, where the debit note number will be auto generated by IMS software each time you perform a purchase return. After that, the entry date should be the same as the current date, it should not be changed. Now a reference bill number is a unique sequential code for this invoice, you have to manually enter the reference number or letter for this invoice. We will use PI 305, and you can use any reference number or letter as per your requirement. So after that supplier's bill number, refers to the invoice number issued by the supplier for the goods or services purchased by a business, it is a unique identifier assigned by the supplier to each invoice, you have to manually enter it here, we will use TI 201, and you have to use any number or letter which is assigned to that invoice as per your requirement. Now IMS software will list the purchase type under this drop down as trading, non-trading, and mixed. We have already explained the purchase types in our separate video, please visit the link in the description to learn about the purchase types. If you scroll down, you'll see a tick box as pan bill, if you tick this box, then the system will treat all the items as non-VAT items, and we will proceed without marking the box. After that, return mode is a way or method in which items are returned, IMS software will list the return mode under this drop down as credit, cash and check. You can select any one of the return modes as per your requirement, for this video we will select cash, if you would like to receive cash when returning the item to the supplier, you must select cash as your return mode. After that, IMS software will automatically fill the account area with cash in hand. Click on this account section and press enter to select another account as per your requirement. Now click on this supplier section and press enter the list of supplier will appear here, we will use the name to search for the supplier, select the supplier, and the details you entered while creating the supplier will autofill in these sections. After that, when you select check as your return mode, then you will be able to enter both the check number and date in this section. As you can see in this go down section, the default go down has already been selected for the user, if you click on this section and hit enter, you will be able to select another go down based on your needs. Now you can provide any remarks as per your requirement.
simply scan the product barcode and the product which is assigned to that barcode will be displayed here, we have already explained how barcode works in our separate video. Now if you click the particular area and press enter, then you will be able to select the item that was created from the product master. You can also manually search for the item on the basis of these filters, we'll select the item code to search for an item. First, let's select set wet which is a VAT product. Now the unit that was selected when adding the product will be displayed here, if that product has an alternative unit, you can select it from this drop down. Now enter the quantity that you want to return to your supplier. So after that, the P rate column will display the product purchase price excluding VAT, you can also edit the purchase rate of this item as per your requirement. Let's look into the amount section, where the amount will be calculated accordingly to the quantity and the purchase rate that you have entered. Now if you have been offered a discount while purchasing the item, then you can include that discount in these sections as needed. As you can see in the VAT column, 13% of the VAT calculated from the rate of this item will be displayed here, this VAT will be added to the amount and displayed in the net amount of this product. If you have entered the product life while adding the product, or added the manufacture and expiry date while purchasing the product then it will be displayed here. Now if you have more items to return, then simply press this add icon to add more rows, where you can add another item as per your requirement. After that, if you need to remove a row, then simply press this cross icon. Now click on this save button or press end button on your keyboard to save the purchase return invoice. After that, a pop-up message will appear on your screen, click on OK then it will display the invoice that will be printed. As you can see only one invoice is printed from the software which is to be provided to the supplier. To print this debit note invoice, click the print button, the invoice will be printed depending on your printer. Now click on this edit button or press F7 on your keyboard to edit the list of previous debit note. After clicking on this edit section the previous debit note invoice will show up. Select the invoice number and the item which are entered in that invoice will be displayed. You can edit these columns as per your requirement. Now click on this view button or press F4 on your keyboard to view the invoice details. You won't be able to edit this voucher in view mode. You can also print this debit note invoice from the view mode, click on this print button or press F8 on your keyboard to print this debit note invoice, this is the invoice that will be printed from the view mode. Now click this reset button or press F3 on your keyboard to clear everything that you have entered on this debit note page. After that click on this back button to go to the dashboard. Now let's look into the second type of debit note, which is to do a full return, where all the products in the invoice will be loaded and can be returned at once. After that, let's look into the debit note page. If you scroll down, then you'll see a tick box, where do full return has already been selected as your default debit note type, and we will continue with it. Now a reference purchase invoice number and a supplier's bill number is a unique sequential codes for an invoice, where the reference purchase invoice number is generated by the IMS software, and a supplier's bill number is issued by the suppliers for the goods or services purchased. You can choose any section to load the invoice but for the moment we'll click on the reference purchase invoice number section, and press enter to select the invoice. After selecting the invoice the detail and the item that was purchased in that invoice will autofill in these sections. You can provide remarks as per your requirement. Please keep in mind that you are unable to add or remove any items from this invoice while performing a full return. Now click on the save button or press end on your keyboard to save the debit note. After that, let's look into the last type of debit note, which is to do a partial return, where you can select an invoice and return any item from it. Now let's look into the debit note page, simply untick the do full return to perform the partial return. After that, 
a reference purchase invoice number and a supplier's bill number is a unique sequential code for an invoice, where the reference purchase invoice number is generated by the IMS software and a supplier's bill number is issued by the suppliers for the goods or services purchased. You can choose any section to load the invoice, but for the moment we'll click on the supplier's bill number section and press enter to select the invoice. Select the invoice and the detail about that invoice will autofill in this sections. Now click on this particular section and press enter to select the item that is only added to this invoice. After that, you can select any item from that invoice that you want to return as per your requirement. Now click on save button or press end on your keyboard to save the debit note. After that, you can also perform a reverse entry of the debit note. A reverse entry refers to the entry made to reverse a previously recorded transaction, or entry in the accounting records. This is done to correct errors or to adjust entries made in a previous period. To perform a reverse entry, go to the debit note page and first load the invoice from the view button. Now press the control button on your keyboard, and two buttons will appear on the screen. From this first button we can see the previous reverse entry, and from this second button, we can perform a reverse entry of the selected invoice. We'll do the reverse entry first and then look at the details, so let's select the second button. After that enter your username and password. As you can see, there is a reverse entry confirmation form where you must provide the debit note number of this loaded invoice, simply we will copy and paste this debit note number here. Provide remarks as per the requirement. Now click on save to keep the reverse entry. To view the reverse entry, press the control button on your keyboard, and the view reverse button will appear, click on the view reverse button, and then click on the invoice to view the reverse entry. After that let's look into the report of the debit note that we have performed. Simply go to report, click on a purchase report as there are many reports that can be viewed from the purchase report, for now we will select debit notebook report to view the report of purchase return that we have performed. A pop-up filter option will now appear on the screen, we will select the date range as the filter option, as there are many filter options that can be used, you can select any filter option as per your requirement, and click on run to view your debit notebook report. This is the debit notebook report generated by IMS software. You can also view the report of VAT items that were performed from debit note. Simply go to report, click on VAT report and from that drop down select debit note register report. A pop up filter option will now appear on the screen, we will select the date range as the filter option, as there are many filter options that can be used, you can select any filter option as per your requirement, and click on run to view your debit note purchase return register report. This is the debit note register report generated by IMS software. We sincerely hope that watching this video helped you to understand about the purchase return, methods of purchase return, their posting in the application, purchase return reverse, and its reports. If you have any questions, please contact us through IMS support.